Hey folks, Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com and this feature is so simple, it's awesome, it's, it's relatively new, and here's what it is. Let's duplicate the background layer so you can see what it does. I'm going to press Command J on Mac or Control J on Windows, and here's the feature. It is a live preview of your blend modes. So it makes like fixing a photo like this really easy, and here's how. You go to the blend mode menu, just click once, it pops down and watch. As you move your cursor, it gives you a live preview of what each one will do and what it would look like if you chose that blend mode. Ooh, overlay looks pretty nice, but you know what? Linear burn looks really good on the bottom and really bad on the top. So I like the way that looks. I'm gonna click the layer mask icon. So it adds a little white mask over here. I'm gonna grab the brush tool and I'm gonna paint in the opposite color black. And that way I can bring back the area of the mountains up top there, but I still get this nice look from the linear burn and I can lower the opacity so it's not too over the top. And there you go. Look how easily you're able to do something like that. And that's the difference. Now, I probably never would have chosen linear burn. It's not a, not a very popular blend mode, but by seeing a preview of what it looked like when I was rolling over it, it helped me to be able to choose a, a blend mode I normally would not choose. Actually, overlay looked okay too. But uh, not as good as Linear Burn though. Linear Burn makes it look like it was a much nicer day than it was. Anyway, I hope you liked that. I hope you found it useful. If you like this type of stuff, head over to KelbyOne.com where we have hundreds of online courses, full-length online awesome courses on Photoshop and Lightroom and photography and all the stuff you want to learn. If you want to get really good at Photoshop, that's where people go, kelby1.com. Take care, everybody.